Okay, so today we are going to be discussing SDL texture. Now, what is an SDL texture? Well, according to the wiki, an SDL texture is a struct that contains an efficient driver-specific representation of pixel data. This means that an SDL texture is just a chunk of data that you can store in uh, your video card. And the reason you would want to use SDL texture is because um, basically using a texture is really useful when it comes to uh, drawing something that may not fit on your screen. So for example, if you want to load a really big image, if you want to load a really big image and show it on your screen, or if you want to do a lot of drawing that uh, is higher resolution than your screen, what you can do is you can draw to the texture and then you can selectively show it onto your screen uh, at given times. So for now, I'm going to begin slowly. I'm going to show you a very simple um, way of using a texture, and I'm going to uh, build up from that. And by the end of it, I think we are going to make something fairly fairly interesting. Okay, let's, let's begin. Okay, so how do we create a texture? Well, we create a texture by uh, running the SDL create texture function, and we do it like this. I'm going to be using uh, best practices for C++ from now on. So uh, apparently uh, uh, having uh, type names in your code is bad practice. So I'm going to start using the auto keyword. Okay, we're going to say auto red texture. And as you can guess by the name, this is going to be a texture uh, which is going to be colored uh, to the color red. Okay, so the second argument you're going to pass to this texture is just going to be uh, the pixel format, uh, the format in which you keep uh, the pixels. And uh, this isn't specific to SDL, so I'm just going to use uh, the constant that they provide, which is going to be SDL pixel format, uh, and it's going to be RGBA8888. Uh, you can look that up yourself. It's not very that. It's not really that important. Uh, now the third argument is going to be SDL texture access target, and uh, what the, an access target is is essentially um, what you can do with this texture. So if we look at the wiki, we can see that uh, SDL access target, ex SDL texture access target, uh, and this can be used as a render target. So. Uh, we will be able to draw to this texture uh, if we set this type of axis target. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, finally, the last two arguments are going to be the width and the height of this texture. So just like a window has a width and a height, a uh, texture also has a width and a height. So it's a, a two-dimensional um, structure. So this is going to be 1,000 by 1,000, same as the window. Okay, and uh, while we're at this, we are going to create a new texture, and this texture is going to be called a blue texture. Okay, good. We created our two texture classes, and uh, not classes. Uh, we created our two texture structs. This is a C library, not a C++ library. We don't have uh, classes here. Okay, so what we're, going to, what we're going to do next is we are going to clear both of these textures to their respective colors. And the way we do that is first we have to set our render target to be the texture that we want to draw to. And if we look at the wiki again, uh, we can see the description for this function is set a texture as the current rendering target. So uh, all the rendering we're going to do is going to be done to the texture that we set. So to do that, we are going to say uh, we are going to set the render target to be OK, so we set our render target to be red texture. Next, we are going to set the draw color, and this should be familiar. Okay, 
So what I did here is I set the red channel to be 255 uh, GB00. So this is going to be, uh, we, we're basically setting uh, the renderer to uh, the red color. The color for the renderer is going to be red. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, do render clear. I'm going to say STL render clear. I'm going to say render. Okay. So essentially what we did uh, in these three lines is we set the target to be the red texture. We said red texture just because of the name. It's not, it's not red yet. Then we set the draw color to be red and then we cleared the renderer. So uh, essentially what we did is we said, okay, renderer point to this um, red texture and second, we're gonna clear the color of this red texture to red. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do this for the blue texture. Okay, perfect. So now we have both of these textures cleared to their respective color. So the first one is red, the second one is blue. Now what we have to do is we actually have to present it to our screen. So how do we do that? Okay, so to show the textures to our screen, what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to copy, we are gonna copy, or actually before we do that, we are going to clear um, the, we're gonna clear the render target. And if we look at the wiki again, if we look at the wiki, uh, as you can see, the second argument being the texture, if you pass null to the render, it or if you pass null as the texture, it's just going to uh, default back to rendering to the window. So if we do that, we're just going to say uh, SDL set render target, and then we're going to pass null. We're using C, so uh, we're using C plus plus. So I guess null PTR would be better. And I don't think, I think, I think they're interchangeable, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're basically setting the render target to be back to our uh, window. So now we can actually show these textures and we show our textures like this. We are going to uh, copy a section of, uh, or should, we say, should I say, we're gonna copy the texture to our window and we're gonna use that render copy function. And if we look at the render copy function, we can see that, uh, what does it do? It says here, it copies a portion of the texture to the current rendering target. And how does it do that? So it needs a render and it needs a texture. And then it needs srect and it needs a desrect. So it takes an srect and a desrect. And for now, I'm going to leave that as it is. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. You can just pass null because uh, if you pass null, it's just going to take the entire texture. And if uh, you pass null for the second, it's going to uh, basically render to the whole thing. So leave it for now. Don't think about it. For now, just understand the concept of how these textures work, right? So what they're doing is uh, we're going to take a copy of this texture and we're going to put it to our screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to say SDL render copy and we are going to pass in our render and then we're going to pass in our texture. Oops. And uh, finally we have to pass in two nulls because uh, because we want to use the entire render and we want to use the entire texture. And when I say render, I mean, we want to show this texture, we want to show this whole texture to the whole screen. So we're gonna pass null PTR and null PTR. And that should be fine. And once we do that, we are going to uh, do SDL render 
present and then we are going to um, we're going to STL delay for uh, I would say 10 seconds okay good and when we do that or actually no 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 I'm going to present the red texture okay so after that we're going to say STL under copy and we're going to copy the second texture we're going to copy the blue texture to the screen and then we're going to say render and then we're going to say blue texture then we're going to pass in null ptr null ptr uh, stl render present render and then i'm going to do stl delay and then we're going to delay for 10,000 milliseconds okay good right now let's compile this. We're gonna compile this the standard way, G++, and then we're gonna say, what's this called again? Textures, textures.cpp, and we're gonna link it, lstl2, output is gonna be textures. Okay, so as you can see, we're seeing the red texture first, and then it's gonna switch to the blue texture. And that was showing the blue texture, and it's going to close. Okay, great.